Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello everyone. Welcome back to SAS with ServiceNow. This is part of ITSM implementation mock training. In this video, we will configure creation of emergency change from incident. And the task would be that emergency change can only be created for P1 and P2 incidents. So let's see how you can configure this in our personal developer instance. Now this is something creation of change record from incident. So what I will do, I will directly go to incident and we have to go to incident UI action. So you open any incident record and if you right click on the header, you will see this create emergency change. So we should be able to create this particular change only for priority where priority is one or two. As of now, I can see this button even for priority five planning. So what I will do, I will go to configure and I will go to directly UI actions because that's a UI action. So we have this create emergency change. I will click on this. And now what I will do, I want to make this available only for P1 and P2. So we have this current dot state is not this and as all this, we don't have any kind of for priority. So what I will do, I will just add and and here I will mention current dot. I think I can just mention like this current dot priority. So I'll just mention priority is equal to one. And I think we should see the values of our priority choice. So if I select this and if I click, I click on configure dictionary, I can just go at the bottom here and we have uh, one and two. Yeah. So value is one and two. So here we can mention current dot priority is equal to two is equal to one or I have to basically mention or and for that we have to use pipe. So if I do this, I basically we have to this one. So we will mention current dot priority is equal to two. I think it's a choice. So let's select like this and then select like this and you are done. And if I close this, close parenthesis, and I just click on save. So my UI action is saved. And if I go back here, I'm just opening the same record. So here it's P1. I can see create emergency change, but let's open it uh, incident where priority is not P1 or P2. Let's say this one. If I open this one, and I right click here. Absolutely not. You can see now I cannot create emergency change from this incident. Well, that's how you can configure UI actions for change request as well, which is created via incident forms. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.